The keys have let me in writing the story well. The savage world was set, the dialogue speech from the intro, the arena itself, the battle sea experience, as well as the titles earned in the game, and that secret about the sword hidden behind a portal of runes in the center of Batalon. The savage warlord said depicts the history of his last bearer and ferocity that lay haste in his path of enemies. If you take a closer look at it and make a similarity with Vayne's armor, you will see that they are almost the same. This similarity was also the part that served as good description towards his past as a human. In the intro of the game, when you are at the end of the tutorial, meaning the smashing doors and small cutscene with Vayne, you are met with a manifestation of the Void himself, which said King addressed you first with So, Death has chosen Artros as his champion? How, interesting. Destiny, sure loves, to wrap up everything, against my goals. You are probably aware of these scenes, so there is no reason going through them again. Nonetheless, these scenes have a message hidden behind their words. They not only addresses you as in third person, but if you pay a bit more attention to the way he pronounced them, you could see a different sort of pattern in his speech. Do. You. In your life you were a legend. I was. Once a legend. But. That was. A long time ago. But not. Anymore. People. No longer sing songs. Of your deeds. I've become all. But a distant memory forgotten. In the shadows of the past. In a way, for this, Vayne not only tries to persuade you to let him go, but to outright give up on trying to save the world, speaking previously from his own experiences on what said world has done to him. Yet, as always, the hero, that means you, refused to do such a thing, which resulted in Vayne seeing you more as a nuisance and not as an equal. He sees the will of Lycos inside your soul, but the power behind it is too weak compared to the first hero. As such, he then replies, I would add hope that the great Artros would be something of a challenge. But here's my question, how did death bring you back to life? Since inside his locker are trapped the most evil creatures to ever grace the land. That would mean you were either a villain before and he erased your memories to work for him, or he dragged your soul from the world tree. Because the world of tree is also the world of spirits, technically the heaven from the skies and he himself is a watcher that guides or takes the spirits to the other side. Of course, depending mostly on what kind of deeds you run off. Next, we have the arena or how it is called in the game PvP Arena, which in my opinion would have looked better to see a Colosseum instead of the basic platform to fight your competition. But that's not important here. The real inspiration for the Colosseum came from the werewolves, you will probably ask, what do the werewolves have in common with this, right? A common thing between the two would be the gladiator fights, and towards such titles, you will need to continue fighting, even if it meant fighting for your life. Because in the tale of the warlord set, it says that the wielder went through a lot of battles and earned the set title of warlord. And where would you find these particular death matches if not in the gladiator skirmishes? Now here's a question for you. If the warlord represented Vayne when he was still human, then how would his first stage of corruption would look like? I already, with the help of my best friend, found the answer in the form of this. His half-corrupt stage doesn't look any closer to the form nowadays. That's not true at all. His full corrupted form still resembles the skeleton reminiscent from back then. Last but not least, the secret sword behind the portal in Batalon's center. Just from this particular cutscenes we did came the answer to all of Vayne's past and hero fight, as well as why you, as a hero, need to activate all runes to get it. The key was stolen from Dead not only to release his army, but to retrieve the sword who actually made his imprisonment in the first place. The reason Vayne can't sustain himself much in the realm of lore is because he doesn't have its full power. And as you've read the Untold Origin Second, that power was half stripped away by Lycos using the sword to seal it away, as well as imprisoning Vayne for all centuries to come, which was then hidden away from the world until the time came for his assistance again to fight said evil. 
Not only having the soul will help you, but the benefits from wielding it will turn the tables and in doing so match faith strength. Because the soul itself contains void magic and two elements of the same magic type used against each other will more than likely be cancelled out.